Hey, I'm Steven from Rugged Routes, back for another quick tutorial on a Lowrance HDS Live GPS unit. Uh, as many of you are probably familiar, uh, when you plug in a Lowrance HDS unit fresh out of the box and you push the Pages button, which is that double square button in the top right corner, it brings you to the home screen that we are viewing here. And here you'll see that we've got a lot of boat stuff still showing here, such as sonar, side scan, down scan and a bunch of the shortcuts on the right side for more marine related uh, screen layouts. So what we're going to do today is show you how to get rid of that stuff so you can customize it for your own off-road uses. So to get started you're going to want to click on the or touch I should say the gear in the top left corner and that'll bring us to this setting screen. With the system option on the left column uh, remaining selected you're going to want to scroll down on the right side and then touch on the advanced option. Once you're into the advanced settings screen, you'll want to expand the features option. And in here, you'll see all sorts of different features that are enabled and disabled. More than likely, your unit has sonar and structure scan enabled. If you have other boat features that are listed in here that are turned on, you should be able to turn those off as well to help clean things up a bit further. So in this example for right now, we are just going to uh, turn off both the sonar and the structure scan by touching on each one of them. Once each of those are turned off, you'll just touch the X in the upper right hand corner and then you'll be able to touch the pages button to get back to the home screen. Now you can see those sonar and down scan options have been removed. On the right side though, we still have down scan and some sonar options in our shortcut page layouts. So what we'll want to do to get rid of those is tap and hold on one of them. And then you'll see that you can either edit each one or you can X each one of them out. So if you touch the X, you should be able to ditch them all, and that screen goes blank. Oop, I hit the X in the top right there, and uh, you'll see that those are all, all blank. Stay tuned for more tutorials on how to customize page layouts for more off-road related uses. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.